Hello everyone, so this is going to be a bit different, a bit unscripted, but I want to talk a lot about uh, Kent's Undercover because it's been a weapon that's undergone a lot of development in the past month, and with a new patch coming out, I'm sure something will change, but right now I think this weapon is pretty misunderstood, but in general, like, what makes it good, what happened with Undercovers, why is this one suddenly so good when all the others aren't, is it really just the kid, etc. So... First, before I continue here, Sendu made a video talking about this already. While it isn't super in-depth, it talks mostly about why Torpedo is good, and uh, the kit, just a little bit. So, I'd recommend going and checking that video out first, the link is in the description, so yeah, please check that out. But, I want to talk a bit more about Undercover, and just in general. So, first of all, it's seen pretty much no use in top level play until Kent's Undercover. Why is that? Well, Undercover is obviously a very support-oriented Brella, and both of the other kits of the weapon clearly have aggressive kits. While their Sorella Undercover's kit is good, and even the regular Undercover isn't horrible because 150p, both of them are really, really aggressive, which doesn't fit Undercover, because Undercover is not an aggressive Brella. It's a supportive Brella. It's more supportive than the regular Brella is. So, it needed to get a kit that really helps it do support, so alas, that's one of the first things that helps with this weapon. It also got a recent buff. Basically, Undercover shoots 4 pellets, and each of those pellets used to do 10 damage, and now they do 12, but the max damage still caps at 36. So basically what they did, is that's a direct hit that does 40, but if you were to hit 3 pellets, if that's 1 pellet, it's hard to actually show there's 2 pellets. And there's three pellets. So it basically made it that you can land three pellets and get a three hit, which you couldn't do before. So it made its killing more consistent, which was actually a good buff for it. So, basically, Kenta Undercover has a kit that actually allows the main weapon to do its job. And while painting was brought up, it was said to be worse. It's actually not that much worse. The reason is because Undercover shoots four frames faster than the regular Brella does. So even though the shots aren't painting as much horizontally, as you can see it doesn't paint too much horizontally, it's painting like more shots overall than the regular Brella does, and another thing is it paints better vertically thanks to some of the patch notes. This vertical blotch here, you can see travels a lot farther and covers thicker. Regular Brella one, if I can get that for comparison actually. You can see it's a bit different. It's a bit depends on the angle as well, but this one basically will go further vertically, so it paints better vertically and a bit worse horizontally, but it has a faster fire rate that makes up for it because it shoots four frames faster. So, yeah. Its paint is absolutely insane. On top of that, it's 180p for armor, which besides Junior is the only weapon in the game to have 180p armor, and it's the fastest armor weapon in the game because it cannot paint Junior because of its vertical paint and fire rate. So, those two combined make it the best armor spammer in the entire game, but here's one of the main things I want to get into. Junior is good at spamming armor if you can find places to paint, but in a 5 minute match you're going to run out of room in your spawn. So you're going to need to push up to paint, but Junior can't do that, it doesn't have anything to protect it. Undercover has this little weak shield thing that allows you to poke more aggressively and just paint over your opponents, and then once they break the shield a little bit you can back up. The shield also allows you to pair with an aggressive player more, so say I'm trying to push in, I have a shooter with me, I can just cover him, do the painting over him, push in, get paint for my armor, and then pop my armor, throw torpedoes, and put little tap shots to support a teammate. So it's really good for pairing with people. On top of that, as Sendu has mentioned, Torpedo just paints insanely well, and it's ridiculous how well it paints, so that also makes it very good at charging its armor. Undercover being light class and having the best uh, strafing speed out of any of the Brellas, well, I am running a pure run speed, but the difference is still there, even without run speed, makes it really apparent how fast the Brella is, so it makes it really easy to get in, poke a little bit, back up, respace, especially with a little bit of run and swim speed, you can just poke in a lot, abuse the shield to make sure you can paint against things like a shooter that will still take a little bit to break the shield even if it doesn't seem like much. And your shots are still threats if you hit like one or two hits or get a torpedo then you can still kill them pretty quickly. This thing actually is pretty solid for 1v1s, it's another thing that I don't think a lot of people know. It's like versus certain matchups like shooters or splatlings, this thing still has good 1v1 potential as long as you hit your shots. And you can still like shield strafe just like you could with uh regular brows like you can drop and swim with it it's not like 
as fast because you can't insta cancel it like you can with regular Brella because you start other shots immediately so you can't really buffer the input super well but it still has that option and it's still incredibly mobile like it's so hard to hit this thing especially when it doesn't have its shield left because of how fast it actually strafes on top of that if it somehow can't get in anywhere to paint or pressure you have torpedoes and torpedoes are like the best pressuring special in the best pressuring sub in the entire game besides fizzy. You can basically throw them anywhere, you can throw them at back lines. But when you throw them, you basically want to throw them up or behind the opponent so they can't shoot it down. Or if they do shoot it down, they're messing up their aim. So if they have to flick up and like shoot a torpedo here and then turn around and fight someone, that's gonna be really hard to auto adjust their aim. Especially if there's something like a shooter. Like, they're going to miss quite a lot of shots shooting down the torpedo, and even after a torpedo with no ink savers, you have 10 shots to kill your opponent, so you have plenty of time to follow up, not to mention if you're running ink saver abilities, which isn't uncommon on Undercover. So, overall, the main weapon itself is actually pretty solid. It's very fast, very good at painting, and can do solid 1v1s versus a few weapons. It also can pair okay with other weapons. It's faster than a lot of the other Brels, which allows it to reposition properly, so it can actually stay where it wants to be. And aggressively, it can just be really great at painting and pairing with frontliners. It can spam armors to boost their factor even more, and it has torpedoes in the neutral. If it ever finds itself unable to do anything, you can just throw torpedoes. The torpedoes combo with the main weapon extremely well. So, all of that combined is what makes Undercover good. If we're being completely honest here, this is basically the perfect kit they could have given Undercover. This is exactly the kit Undercover needed. It's a perfect support neutral sub for when it doesn't have anything to do that can also combo with the main weapon. It's special as something it can spam often and helps the entire team as well as help Undercover because assists give you the shield back. And it gives you a bit of extra layer of protection for those 1v1s because they can still be pretty tricky or allow you to survive. And again, because of the shield factor, it's very easy to push up and paint. You can't really go near an enemy's base and paint around and throw splat bombs before getting caught. Undercover can sit there on a high ledge or something and shoot over at the enemies. It can stay on an overlook and it can poke forever. It can annoy your backline with torpedoes and you have to go and deal with it. It's annoying and it's going to have armor if you don't kill it soon. So that's why it's really good overall. So it just has a lot of strengths. It covers the weapon well. And uh, yeah, that's Undercover. So a bit more in-depth about why it's good. And hopefully this clarified a few things. I will see you all in the video now. Bye-bye.